In this video, I will be explaining how to rebuild the front differential in a 1995 Honda Foreman 400 ATV. First, remove the front wheels. Remove the hubs and brake drums. Unbolt the bottom shock bolt and the lower ball joint. You should be able to remove the CV axles by pulling them. Mine were stuck. Unbolt the differential mounting bolts. Slide the front drive shaft towards the motor. Pull the differential out of the frame. Unbolt the differential case. Wash the parts with degreaser. So here's the old bearings you can see. It shouldn't have all that play in it. The same with the other side. And the worst here is the pinion bearing. That shouldn't have any play in it at all. So here's all the new bearings. I got the two side bearings, the two seals. I got the main main pinion bearing that goes right here. I got the pinion seal that goes right there. And then there's there's double pinion bearings. There's one right in there. That's this one here. Okay, so I'm trying to knock out the seal first. And it was that easy. Okay? Alright, now the bearing wants to go down. Alright, that came right out. So let's put it back together in the order it came apart. So you can see how bad this was compared to the new one, which is completely tight. So just lay it down in there. And you can use the old one to hammer in the new one. So lay it right on top and then Make sure you push it, it goes down all the way. Let's put the seal in. It's this way. Alright, now for this side, do the same thing. Now this one, it looks like there's a nut down in there. It's 22 millimeter. Alright, I'm at a stage here where I need a special tool. Um, this thing here, this is actually a nut. And add on screws out of here. The tool's available on eBay. It's like 65 bucks. Let me try to make one or do. I don't want to spend $65. Okay, on mine, they have this indent here and it's bent into it like a lock nut. So make sure you bend. Okay, I just found the special tool you need. Here it is. This is a piece of inch and a half by inch and a half angle iron. You stick that in there. The 
Look at that. All right, I probably would have had this out, but I screwed up the threads hammering it initially. This does work as a tool. It locks in there and you can turn it, but I messed mine up. It's so hard to turn now that it keeps bending the tool. So what I'm gonna do is weld another piece of angle iron to this piece. that there's the bad bearing I wonder how you get this bearing out all right so you got this little hole here I'm just gonna pound this punch in it and see if I can smash the bearing out. all right I'm still struggling to get this pinion bearing out because you can't just hammer it out don't hammer a, a punch into that hole on the top because that breaks the case. Even though I broke the case on this, it still should be fine. So now I'm going to try welding a 5 8 bolt in there. And the heat should loosen it up and then having the, uh, having that bolt should give me something to bite onto or whatever. I got, I got some of it. All right, I got it out. I'm sure there's a better way to do this. I don't know what it is, so if someone wants to be kind enough to tell me. Now I'm officially putting everything back together, so. Let's uh, do this while it's hot. That'll make it a lot easier. Okay, there's the new one. All right, so this has got to come off of there. It should be easy. Just Oh, look how easy. Well, right here. All right. 
Okay, I got the front differential all finished. It's all sealed up, all the new bearings are in it. Seems pretty good now. You know, everything's tight. So first, put in the drive shaft. Install the differential back in the frame. Slide in the CV axles. Attach the lower ball joint and shocks. Install the hubs and wheels.